In today's video, we are going to talk about the best talking station for Dell XPS 15. But do stay around because I have a bonus tip for you at the end telling you on what to look for and what to see if you are in the market for any docking station for any laptop. So let's get on to it. Hello, Salam, Namaste, Satriyakal and copy to all. This is Intervin KG and welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you have Dell XPS 15, chances are you're working on projects which require a lot of memory, speed and power. Now, how will you feel if you get a docking station and all of that power speed is compromised? Well, sir, isn't it? So that brings us to the question of today's video, which is the best docking station for Dell XPS 15, which doesn't compromise on power, speed, and delivery. And the answer to that question is Dell WD19TB. And let me explain why I'm saying so. So there are lots and lots of docking stations in the market. And many of them say that they're compatible with Thunderbolt C, which means they should work with Dell XPS 15, but there's a catch. There are two problems in it. One, most of these docking station only give a power output of 90 watts. And for Dell to work properly, it requires 130 watt input. And the second problem is Dell itself. According to the forums in Dell, the Dell software throttles the speed or throttles the power of these third-party docking stations to 65 watt. Now, what does that mean? That means if you end up buying a third-party docking station, you will perhaps only be able to use 65 watts, which means that your Dell XPS 15 will throttle the speed to cater for the power demand it has. And the second reason is the modular design of Dell docking stations. So these new docking stations of Dell have a modular design so you have this input module and an output module which you can change which will we will come to when we do the unboxing which future proofs you so tomorrow if you upgrade from dell xps and there's some new technology like thunderbolt 4 5 6 god knows what it is then you don't need to go and buy a new docking station you can just buy a module which costs like half or less than half during discount uh, from Dell website or even the third party website. So that makes it pretty cool. So as far as operating system compatibility is concerned, it is compatible with Windows 10 Home, Windows and Professional and uh, Red Hat Linux Enterprise version as well as Ubuntu 18.04, uh, which means it will be compatible with the future versions as well. So if you are on Windows 7, it's time to upgrade. Before we talk further about the power options, let's go ahead and unbox the Dell WD-TB-S, I guess. So here we go. So what's in the box? Some paperwork. And we have the adapter. So it's 180 watt adapter. And as I said, it does give 130 watt output, which is good enough for a Dell XPS. And the power cable. And this is the actual dock. So, and silicon case and some paperwork. That's it, nothing else in the box. So you don't get any display cables or HDMI cables, all of that you have to get on your own. This is around 500 grams. And this is the module I was talking about. So you can actually go ahead and take this module out. As you can see, this is Thunderbolt compatible. So it should be able to fast charge the Dell XPS. And it also has 40 Gbps of speed, which means that your mouse, there'll be no lag in your mouse or your uh, data transfer from USB, or if you have a SSD connected to the docking station. So let's talk about the ports. Uh, this has two display ports, one HDMI and uh, one USB-C, uh, 
two USB A generation one and an Ethernet port as well as the power outlet and external connectivity for audio jacks and stuff like that as well and in the front you have one USB-C and one 3.1 USB-A that is the fast port as well as a audio jack now this also have a power button at the top so you really don't need to if you want to switch off the docking station you really don't need to go down and switch off the uh, from the power source you can just do it directly from here and that's about it so let's go ahead and set it up and then we will talk about the other thing so i have all set it up the setting up process was pretty easy it just took me a couple of minutes uh, i've connected my 2k monitor here as well as my dell xps with a microsoft uh, keyboard as well as my mouse which is connected to the usb a port which is the fast port as i said earlier and I have also connected my Samsung SSD because that's the setup I have. But you can connect two 4K monitors with one 4, 5K monitor as per the uh, tech specifications given on their website. One of the cool features which I liked about it was that you can just press this power button which is on the docking station and it just switches everything off so you really don't have to use the windows lock or alt control delete, delete button uh, all of these uh, dell docking station do come with the kingston lock so now it's the time for the bonus tip as a thumb rule you need to check two things before you buy a docking station one whichever laptop brand you have whether it is dell hp are they putting any kind of throttling for the third party docking stations. As I said, that Dell seems to be putting it to 65 watts for most of the third party docking stations. And I'm putting a link in the description of the forums where this has been discussed. And the second thing which you need to check is what is the power input which your laptop requires for optimal performance. In case of Dell, it is 130 watts. Every laptop is different. Most of the third party docking stations give you an output of around 90 watts please do remember that this output power value is different than the value of the power adapter which you see which can be 110 watt 130 watt 180 watt 240 watts but what we are more interested in is the the output value of the power which is being given by the docking station to the laptop for this talk to work. So guys, that's about all I have for you in this video. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the bell icon for future updates. I'll see you in the next one. Rabraka.